Hey guys, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And if you are watching this video, then that means you selected the Care of Magical Creatures box for your Trash Panda treasure this time. Let's take a look, see what you got in your boxes, and I will walk you through how to put these fabulous creations together. What part of our boxes is for the Monster Book of Monsters? The fur, obviously, nice and soft. Um, Post-it notes, and then the felt. There should be white felt, there should be red felt. Um, sticker dots, glue dots. There should be four googly eyes for you. Um, some glue, and a foam brush, and some ribbon. What to do with those things? Well, we're gonna start out with the felt. We're gonna cut zigzag on the kind of ivory cream colored felt, and a V out of the red felt which will look like this. Ta-da! <laughs> Those are going to be your teeth, and that is going to be your tongue for the Monster Book of Monsters. So when you bring the felt or the fur over, um, and you can see it's really long, so I kind of cut off one edge so we'd be able to see the teeth on that side. You can do that if you want to. You don't have to. But you want the fur side down against the table. Um, get your glue and your brush and you're just gonna put a thin strip right along the end. And that's where we are going to glue your felt teeth on. Um, kind of smooth it in there a little bit. And that's where one set of teeth will go. And you want them so that they kind of peek out, but that they're pretty firmly anchored into that fur. Um, and you can always trim the fur later if you need to. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other end. So we're gonna put that glue right along the edge. And you're gonna get fur caught up in, in most of these, so don't, don't worry about that. That's just the nature of working with fur. We'll take the other set of teeth and glue those right along the edge there. And you can see those are kind of sticking out too. Um, again, you just you just want the, the pointy bits. Okay. You want to make sure that the they don't overhang the edges too much. If they do, you can always trim those down as well. And then I'm just gonna put it right on the felt for the tongue, uh, which again is gonna be kind of a hairy mess, but that's all right. And then over on that right side. And you just want to position it so the tongue sticks out as much as you would like it to. And then we'll kind of pat that on and, and let it dry for a little bit. Okay, next up, um, our cardstock and our post-it notes. So you can kind of see how that's going to end up going. And you want to leave some space in the middle, like where a book spine would go. Um, so kind of position that you can pick which way you want your, your post-its to open and peel off. Make sure to leave that spine space. And then um, I wrote Monster Book of Monsters on one side of mine. You can if you want to, but you don't have to if you don't. And again, you can pick if you want it to open so that you read it the long way or the short way. Just make sure to leave space for that spine. So I'm gonna cover the back side of my post-its with glue. And uh, when it comes time to, you know, replace those post-its, it's the same thing. Uh, you'll just glue on the next one. Um, and then the same thing with this. Put that glue on there. Make sure to get it all the way to the edges. There we go. And then we will stick that on there as well. And you may have to hold that one in place. You know how paper is. It sometimes wants to curl up a little bit at the edges after you put glue on it. So I'm just going to hold that down just a little bit. And then once you've gotten that, so it's, it's pretty much glued once that's dry, um, 
that's where you'll fold it over and the book will kind of start to take take shape okay so next up we're going to grab our four eyes our googly eyes um, and you could glue these but i think the glue dots are a little bit stronger so i'll, I'll try to aim this so you can kind of see um, that dot in the middle is the is the glue and if you if you stick the googly eye right on it um, then you should be able to peel off that plastic pretty easily and it should stay stuck to um, the eye and not the plastic and with the fur you want to try to use your finger to clear some of it out of the way so it's not just glued onto the fur that will kind of flap around but you want it actually glued to that bottom layer so it'll stay put stay in place right where you want it and we're just going to do the same thing with the rest of these glue dots and eyes and you can put on two you can put on three you can put on four whatever you want your book to look like And then importantly, before you take your book out in public so it uh, won't cause you any embarrassment, um, you can decide which way you want your ribbon to go. Um, but the ribbon should be able to wrap around at least one full time, and then you should be able to tuck that extra end in, keep those teeth shut so that it won't do any damage. <laughs> um, make sure you can still see those eyes there. And then I'm going to tuck that through and there you go. That is your monster book of monsters. Thank you for following along guys. I hope you had a lovely time putting together your monster book of monsters. And these little guys. Thanks guys. <laughs>